And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Fantasy Springs Casino here in Indio, California, let's get ready to rumble! Hello, good evening. This is Sports File, live on Metro TV. My name is Enes Krantian. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're on DSTV channel 277. Uh, you can get us on your digital platform. Uh, between 9 and 11 p.m. will give you reason today uh, to stay. Today is November 5, 2014. Exactly 33 days to December 8. Rewind 30 years ago in 1984, when Azuma Nelson knocked down Wilfredo Gomez in round 11 in Puerto Rico to become the WBC featherweight champion of the world. We'll be watching the World Featherweight Championship between Wilfredo Gomez from Puerto Rico and from Ghana, Azuma Nelson. Y otra derecha, Azuma Nelson is looking stronger. Y Wilfredo en problemas. Y ahí está desencadenando con más furia cada vez el ataque a Azuma Nelson. Contra las cuerdas, Wilfredo. El referee sigue la acción con mucho cuidado. Pero se lleva otra sólida derecha a la cabeza y de nuevo en malas condiciones se va la lona Wilfredo. Wilfredo Gómez is down. And the referee will give him the eight count. Dice Wilfredo fue resbalón, pero no que va. Iba herido de un golpe de Azuma Nelson que lo vuelve a conectar con la derecha. Iba herido de un golpe de Azuma Nelson que lo vuelve a conectar con la derecha. Y ahora sí se desploma Wilfredo. Vamos a ver si se levanta. Lo está intentando Wilfredo, pero se vio muy mal cuando... Se acabó la pelea, dice el referee. Azuma Nelson es the winner. Okay, so that was uh, December 8, 1984. 30 years uh, will be December 8, 2014. We look forward to celebrating Azuma's first world title triumph. Uh, and it promises to be very big. Azuma from there grew in fame and commercials, uh, commercial and sporting stature uh, as memorable fights such as uh, the ones against Pat uh, Caldwell, remember the one in October 1985 in Birmingham, which became a highlight film material as Caldwell was left frozen on the canvas by Professor's knockout punch. And about uh, before the biggest, the one, the one also before the uh, biggest uh, crowd uh, that has ever graced any boxing bout. 120,000 people converged to watch Azuma Nelson beat Gabriel Ruela in February 1993. We can go on and on with Azuma's memorable fight, and it is the reason we have chosen to relive the phenomenon Azuma Nelson is tonight on Sports File. The big man himself joins me in the studio. Prof. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you. I was asking you, there was somebody in the video, do you, do you know the guy? He looked familiar. He was just knocking people out, up he, and down. He looked familiar. He looked familiar. He look familiar. Have oh. you heard about him? Oh, they told me he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Azuma Nelson is my guest on Sports File tonight. The show is big on your views. Keep your thoughts coming through. Check out uh, our interactive uh, platform and be part of the conversation. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll start the conversation. Individuals who are doing their bit for those around them. We take you on an exciting and inspiration filled journey with more stories that will touch the nation. Don't miss it. Welcome back from the break as we relive the phenomenon Azuma Nelson is. 
uh, tonight live on Metro TV. We encourage you to join us uh, with your greatest memories of Azuma and Nelson through uh, inter uh, interactive platforms. Uh, I apologize for that. Facebook.com slash Metro Sports and at Metro Sports TV is our uh, Twitter handle. Tonight we activate the phone lines much earlier, uh, 25 minutes to the top of the hour so you can join the conversation. Three key areas we're talking about. First is Azuma Nelson, uh, you know, how he galvanized every Ghanaian. Uh, most of us stayed vigil just to watch Azuma Nelson fight. And that sense of unity he introduced into this country uh, when the country experienced very difficult times. Uh, and while I say all these, there are young people who are staring into my face because they were not born at the time. <laughs> <laughs> The second one is Azuma Nelson was his own judge, so that any time he entered the ring, he made sure that he dealt with his own cases in the ring. He didn't have to rely on any judge or any, any official uh, to determine his destiny in the ring. And the last one is how Azuma has become a benchmark for judging sports success or sporting success uh, in any sport at all in this country and beyond. We all know about uh, the launch of his autobiography a while ago, and I will take the pleasure of reading out a portion of it, which says, I dedicate this book to the former president of Ghana, Jerry John Rollins, for his guidance and support when I was starting out, and to Dave Harper for his friendship and support today. I would also like to dedicate it to all the people, the good people of this country, my home, and the country I love. Hopefully, my story shows that as Africans, we can conquer the world. This is coming from Azuma Nelson. Once again, Cham, you're welcome. Fine, thank you. How have you, be, how have you been feeling? How have you been faring? Uh, autobiography launched, a lot of work to do. Uh, I've been listening to you talk regularly about how you need to generate funds to put up a sporting center that will bring a lot more people like you through the ranks. How busy have you been working on these projects? In fact, I'm very busy. Okay. You know very busy moving around up and down you know uh, at the moment I've, uh, I start going to places uh, to see the the people who came to the launch you know I have to join you know, you know, yeah. and, uh, and, and, and a whole lot of them you know I know I know for for the president for the, for the former president I know he'll be there okay. because it's That's like, your body it's, it's body. like my my it's like my father it's like my you know my my everything okay. you know so for them for him yes but the people that are the Pele you know oh. uh, all these uh, all these guys came you know I mean I can't even mention what them. did that say to you hmm. about how Ghanaians see you? You know, I, that is why I, I know Ghanaians love me so much. So much. And, and if God will open Ghanaians' eyes to see how I love them, oh. they know that they love me, but I love them more. You love them more. Yes. <laughs> Azuma Nelson is my guest on Sports File tonight. Keep your thoughts coming through. Check out our interactive pl uh, platforms. It's facebook.com slash metrosports. Uh, the Twitter handle is at Metro Sports TV. Uh, we activate the phone lines for you to speak to us early, uh, early today. Uh, we don't do phone lines, but it's a special occasion. So we would activate the phone lines for you to share with us your greatest memories of Azuma and Nelson. Just send a simple message to us, and when we activate the phone lines, you will speak to us. Now, let's talk, first talk about your career. So that, are you now realizing what you have done in life? Do you, do you understand what you have done so that in this, I mean, during this country's most difficult time in the 80s and early 90s, you were there to give everybody hope? You know, before the creation of this world, mm -hmm. God knows that that time, 80s, like that, uh, problems like this will come. God and knew? God knew already. Okay. You know, so um, they have to bring me, somebody. Somebody to make the people happy, <laughs> to let the people know that, listen, don't worry. Because this word, you know, the, the, the Bible says that if we can wait for God's time, yeah. everything will be beautiful. So whilst we are waiting for God's time, God brought me, you know, to give them happiness until, you know, things will be settled. So God deliberately brought you to calm nerves at the time, to bring peace 
to bring support and togetherness. To because forget, it was a difficult to, time for to that. Forget the, to forget the difficulties, to, for, you know, to forget the difficulties, to forget, you know, to forget the, hardships. the hardship, you know, or, 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 or the problems that, you know, so when, you hear, when, you, when you see Azuma Nelson, when you hear about Azuma Nelson, Azuma Nelson is going to fight. Midnight, you know, you know this is uh, the situation we are in. Uh, midnight, people still don't sleep. You knew you about know? it? Of course. <laughs> You know, and, 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 and I want them to be happy, you know. That's why, you know, uh, sometimes I, I, I pay for, 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 for the TV rights to show. To you, you are paying this, for the this TV rights? This is, you know, I just want Ghanaians to know how much I love them. Wow. All my heart. You know, and, I, and my life, I, I don't want to see anybody cheating anybody. I, wa I wish I can help everybody, yeah. you know. And that is why, you know, uh, today you see that uh, I, 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 I wrote my book yes. and uh, I, I bought a, a, a land, you know, to build a land, uh, to build a complex for the needy children. And it will be surprising. Just give me three, four years. It will be know? ready. And you see a miracles that God will do through me, and you double. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Azuma Nelson. He mentioned uh, former President Jerry Rollins earlier. Ajin Tete is one who also trained Azuma Nelson at some point in his career. Uh, Don King worked with Azuma Nelson, George Foreman. These are people who have been talking about Azuma Nelson. We'll go listen to them briefly. But before then, tell me a bit about your relationship with Jerry Rollins, with Don King, with... Uh, Ajin Tete, these are people who had a telling effect on your career. Well, everybody in this world yeah. had an uh, effect in my life, you know, because I, 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 I see Rollins, you know, the president, former president Rollins, you know, the advice, you know, and what, it's, it's not, he, he didn't wake up and say, listen, I, 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 I don't want you to, go to the army, you know, but it's, it's God who spoke to him, but, you know, that, listen, uh, don't let this guy ten, ten, uh, go to the army, go to the uh, milit military. Why? W was there the option for you to go to the military? Yeah, I wanted to go to the military because, you know, boxers or sportsmen, you know, we, we came from a poor family, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, sometimes it's difficult for us to even have uh, one full hands of rice to eat, you know. So uh, if I can get into, into the, the military, military, I know every month I'll get something, my, 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 my family, you know, can, 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 also can get be, something. you know, can be free a, a little so bit. So Jerry Rollins yeah. intervened? He came he, in. He came in and he said, no. Uh, he, he saw a light that burning in me. And that light, he, if I enter into the military, that light will, will, will die. You know, so I shouldn't. You know, I know. And this speak, this, the, I mean, this, this speak come, came straight from God. From God. You so know. if you had not done boxing, you would have be, be, become a military man. That was what you wanted yeah, yeah, to do. Through, through boxing, and I want, through the boxing, you I wanted want to, to enter the military. Let me tell you something. If I, uh, the fact is that if I, if I didn't be a boxer, mm -hmm. I'll join the people who, who pushing trucks in the, sure. in the market. And because, you know, you talk about education, you know, I don't have the education. I don't have, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, I mean, what can I do? And mm -hmm. uh, right now, technology is taken is taken over. You know, so it will be it will get a time that it will be a time that uh, even to to sweep machine will sweep. You, you need <laughs> to so to. What can I? <laughs> okay, so let's go listen to Jerry Rollins, who obviously has impacted uh, so much on Azuma Nelson's life. Uh, Ajin Tete, Don King, and George Foreman. They've been speaking to us. Azuma put Ghana on the world map before football did through the starlets of 91. Azuma became a world champion during a very trying moment in Ghana's history, a period when the fortunes of our country had declined to dangerous levels 
and drastic measures had to be taken to turn the tide and bring Ghana back to its rightful position on the continent. Professor Zuma Nelson almost single-handedly flew the kite of Ghana under those trying periods and brought so much joy to millions across the country. He was an embodiment of the sense of purpose, the sense of mission and unity that had gripped the nation during that period. When we discovered uh, Asma very young, and uh, because of his enthusiasm and uh, his uh, will to learn and his undying spirit, we drew him. I trained Azuma physically and I took Ikroti, trained him as a boxer. To keep on keeping on, to do what he does, you know what I mean, because what he has is, uh, is, is, uh, is a symbol. You that you love boxing, you love your country, but don't forget, we love you. That's George Foreman. That's George Foreman. Yeah. Says, they love you. <laughs> I love them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jerry Rollins, Sergeant Tete, Don King, and George Foreman. They've all been talking about how Azuma Nelson galvanized every Ghanaian to follow him and the sports of boxing when he was active so that, you know, people stayed vigil, uh, just to watch the professor uh, take to the ring all the time. He created a sense of oneness and support at all times among Ghanaians during uh, major sporting events. Ghana football teams will benefit from this uh, later on. That's what uh, these gentlemen have been talking about. So you... You did so much to bring Ghanaians together so that when it was time for Azuma to take to the ring, we forgot about our problems and our differences and got behind you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, there's, I've been saying that uh, there's time for everything. Okay. You know, um, whatever God, God that never done wrong thing. Okay. Everything that God does is right, and it's, He knows when and where and the time He have to, you know. So, like I said, He brought me uh, at the right time, you know, and, and to to, to uh, make sure that uh, 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 our, our suffering, you know, that we are suffering, we be, you know, forget forget it. We forget about our suffering. We forget about the, the things that we are passing through, okay. you know. And then, uh, until God will ra raise, ra raise hand and bless the nation, and uh, you know, so I, I don't say it's my power, you know. But God brought you I at know, the time. It know, was important He uh, did at the time. Yes. Now, so any time you took to the ring, did you think about this that there are many people back home? Whose happiness afterwards depended on your performance in the ring? Did you think about it? Did that motivate you? In that any is way? why. That is why I've been knocking people out. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Because I know that when I knock, when, when I win the fight, or I knock you out, I, I knock my opponent out. You know? I can, I can, I can feel. I can, I know. You know, I, I, I'll be in America knocking my opponent out. And after knocking them out, I know that my, by this time, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, my people sitting down in, in front of the TV and watching, you know, just praying for me, just wishing, you know, woman to not, you know, win, you know, and when I win the fight, after I win the fight, I know you see the, the street. You know, everybody come out from his house, you know, and just making noise. It's forget about it. He, that, they, do, they forgot about what they're going through, you know, and comes you know, came to the street and just running uh, and uh, up and celebrating and happy, you know. They forget about that, that moment, right? That, okay. That. Now, you have mentioned that one of the things that inspired you, that motivated you, was, was the people back home and how they felt after your bout. So you needed to get the knockout. You needed to win the bout. What else motivated you during your career? What else? The love for money that oh, when I fought and I did well, I was going to get paid well because I was coming from a poor background. What other thing or oh, what other things motivated you to do well in the ring? You know, like... When we're talking about 
money, I mean, my life money don't come first, don't come second. Where money is in my life, I can't even remember. I can't even, I can't even count. It's just so far, you know. Because I want everybody to be happy. When I have money, I just share the money. People who knows me knows, you know. Uh, when I go to fight and I come back, I go to the schools, you know, like the like the blind school, like the deaf, like the disabled, disabled, mental, retired, mental retarded. I go to the schools. Sometimes we weed their their their, their school. We we give them money. We, I mean, I, I so take this money. I mean, put this money in the bank. I mean, the interest come, you know, use the interest, you know, so that you'll be happy. You know, I, I, I pay people school fees. I pay I, I mean, pe uh, people who, uh, who want to be working, you know, some, I, I, I give some people money to start their small business and, you know, people who want to go to uh, travel, you know, if I, what's that? I don't, I, I don't, I don't need anything. Money was not. No, money no, no, was no. definitely not uh, one no, of the no, reasons. You know, um, because yours primarily was to make people happy. Because you know something that I want people to know that when you be, when God made you a world champion, when God made you a a, 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 a president, when God made you a king, when God made you a rich man, doesn't make you uh, all these things to come and broth the. The, the, the poor. The, the poor. You've got to support them. Yeah. He made you, when, when you become that, when you be in that position, it means you are, you are, you are a servant okay. for the poor. Okay. But people don't understand. <laughs> you know? We bluff people uh, when, bluff. when we get up there. That's right. You know? And I want people to know that God bless us to serve the poor. Azma Nelson, speaking so much wisdom tonight on Sports File. I, I mean, this is not me. I'm unable to ask questions tonight because I, I'm, I'm just listening to the professor say all the things he has to say tonight. Uh, but it is important that you share your uh, greatest memories of Azuma Nelson with us on tonight's edition of Sports File, uh, live on Metro TV or on DSTV channel 277. What it means is that we're being watched <clears throat> across the continent. So send us your thoughts by uh, Ketia Interactive Platforms. It's facebook.com slash metrosports. Uh, the Twitter handle is at metrosports TV. We'll be activating the phone lines for you to speak to us very soon. Let's get on to the second uh, part of our discussion, which is how Azuma Nelson had a philosophy, uh, you know, uh, of being his own judge anytime he got into the ring by absolutely dominating his opponent, and possibly knocking them out uh, to, to avoid any dubious officiating. The lessons here is how we all must take charge of our destinies and be responsible for our actions and inactions at all times. We have Joe Agri, the journalist who was, who was with Azuma Nelson in Puerto Rico uh, almost 30 years ago. Remember, he was working with the graphic group of uh, companies at the time as a young sports writer. He's been speaking to us on this matter as well as Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, Azuma is, a, 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 for me, a very big role model for the whole uh, country and particularly for the current generation. I think he recognized one fact, that in boxing anything can happen. You know, you have to take your own destiny into your own hands because you could fight your best fight if the judges decided to rob you. There was very little you could do. For instance, uh, this fight against uh, Gomez, even though he was on top most of the time, the time he knocked uh, Gomez out, the scorecards showed that he, uh, the, um, the, the, I think two or, the, or three of the judges, almost all the judges had Gomez in front of, uh, in front, which was very ridiculous. But that was, that's boxing for you. So if you, you, you are in the ring, the message from him was that you carry your own judge and referee and everything into the ring by making sure you win the fight decisively so that nobody can take it from you. So he's telling us that if you are determined to do anything, 
if you are determined to rule the world, if you are determined to reign and uh, come on top of the world, you can do it no matter the background from where you are coming. No matter what, if you are determined to achieve something, you can do that by uh, your own determination and the courage that uh, God has given you. So he is one person who is an embodiment of discipline, of humility, and of uh, courage. And uh, I'm sure that if uh, everybody goes by what he has done, this country will be a better place for all of us. Someone else and uh, so many fond memories. Uh, he was the kind of fighter that uh, gave, his, uh, gave his all, yeah, his heart, uh, his soul, his body, his spirit. What I remember most about Azuma was that he never complained. He's never uh, blamed the, the judges, the referee. Uh, the boxing, uh, uh, sanctioning body, okay, it was all, you know, he was such a gentleman in the ring, and uh, we become good. So what do you remember most about Azuma and Nelson when we activate the phone lines? You will join us with those thoughts, but send some of them to us, uh, Ketia Interactive Platforms, facebook.com slash metrosports, or check out our Twitter handle is at metrosports TV. And Sugar Ray Lena, who just spoke to us, uh, has retweeted. Uh, uh, the message as uh, we share this live studio discussion on our Twitter handle. So it means that the world is locked down, is hooked, uh, and, and, and is following what Azuma and Nelson is doing uh, in the studios of Metro TV tonight. We have another message coming from J.E. Safu uh, on Twitter who says, Azuma Nelson has served Ghana his quota. What does he think accounts for the decline of sport, and how can, he, uh, how can we revive it? We'll get into that aspect of the conversation uh, very, very soon. But Azuma, for you, you always went into the ring as, as your, I mean, you were your own judge. Let me get it done in the ring so that I don't depend on anybody. What informed that position? You know, you know, I always uh, f fight. In, outside. Uh, outside, yeah. you know. And you're fighting with white and black, <laughs> yeah. you know. White and black, that is different. You know, um, it doesn't matter, you know, how strong you are. I, I will power. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I made my mind I have to knock you out before I win. And I know that if I don't knock you out, like uh, uh, Joagri said, you know, I was winning the, the fight, but the judges card I was losing yeah. so all they are doing their plan is just let them finish the fight they all they pray they are praying that uh, Gomez can survive can the entire round for the 12 I mean, rounds, the rounds yeah. and then and then he be, he still be He's declared the champion winner. Mm. you know but I have to I have to make sure I'll knock him out before you know if, if I knock you out and they ask who 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 is the loser? Uh -huh. And so it, was not even the baby that they hold <laughs> can tell you that the loser is the one who's bound on the know, canvas. On the canvas, you know. So I have to knock you out, and uh, you just you just don't knock people out with your mouth. But you know, if you come to my training and you see me training, uh, if you don't know me and you see me training, you tell you 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 you, you tell God that God. Let this boy be a champion. Oh. Let this boy win because I put everything. Everything, you know. What was the lesson there that you go into the ring with your judge and your judge is the hands? Let me knock the guy out to avoid any controversy. What's the lesson, life lesson, we can learn from that? You know, it makes everything that you. you know, first of all, God has given everybody talent. You know. And if you can see your, ta your, 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 your talent, you know, and, and, and follow, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be perfect, you know. And right now, we have a big problem in Ghana here that there's no, everybody, anyone who wants to, who, who want to work 
what the person does is when, when you take your when you take somebody into your into your into in, in, when you take somebody into your office to come and work for you first thing he does he comes to the work and he comes to the office and and start looking around what he can steal okay you know and uh, uh, how a good thing yeah how to steal how to you know this make himself big yeah you know and rich himself and rich himself. or herself yeah and you know but you know uh, uh if you want to be a rich man you don't you don't have to force. you don't steal no you don't steal. don't force it god has blessed you already okay. just give yourself to god that's you it. know and you see a miracle it's not your power and your strength it's not your strength and your intelligence to make you rich it's god blessings wow. you know? So. Asma Nelson, uh, former three-time world champion in uh, two-way divisions, uh, featherweight, super featherweight, Africa's greatest boxer of all time, and WBC Hall of Famer. My guest on Sports File tonight, live on Metro TV. Uh, TV. Keep your thoughts coming through uh, Ketia Interactive Platform. It's facebook.com slash metrosports. And our Twitter handle is at metrosportstv. We'll activate the phone lines very soon for you to join the conversation. Now we go on to Azuma's achievements and how they have become a benchmark for measuring success in boxing and other sports too. Uh, sportsmen and women are often encouraged to do it the Azuma way, or they say, do it the Azuma Nelson way. Amaka Amate Fio was uh, sports sec or secretary of sports at the time Azuma Nelson won his uh, first boxing world title. He was there with him. Jeff Fennick is an old foe of Azuma, Azuma Nelson and Mike Tyson, one of the greatest we have seen uh, fight in the boxing ring. These are gentlemen who have been paying glowing tributes to Azuma Nelson in the area of his success and how that has influenced measuring sports success anywhere in the world. I'm very happy for Azuma Nelson and I hope that this book will be read very widely, especially by the young people, so that they learn from his example so that they learn from uh, the things that made him what he is today. And um, Azuma's life is worth emulating. He didn't start with a silver spoon in his mouth. He had to struggle, and they must be um, uh, learned. You know, these days you have young people who want to be rich overnight. So you have uh, people who want to turn professional overnight. They don't want to be amateurs. They want to be professionals. But you have to be a good amateur before you can be a good professional. But because they are in a hurry, they, you know, and they don't make it. I think it's proven every time that we talk about boxing, uh, Zuma Nelson's name pops up somewhere. So um, his legacy will live for a long, long time. It'll live forever. He's, uh, he's, like I said, the greatest African fighter ever and one of the greatest fighters ever to put a glove on. Zuma, greatest fighter I ever fought. Without you, there might, maybe no Jeff Finnick, no legacy for me. So I love you and I hope you have a great, great life and everything you're doing for the people in Ghana. Keep up the good work. Azuma Nelson is a wonderful man, a good friend of mine. I've seen him fight for many years. He's a great man, I have the greatest admiration for him. And I only wish the best for him. And um, he's just an amazing person. Well, the professor's the best. He, he dominated. That was the champ three or four times. He can't ask for anything else. Okay, so great men speaking about the greatest boxer in the history of the African continent. Your thoughts are here. Felix I says, Azuma's blows were too heavy. I remember it was used, uh, uh, it was uh, used to uh, threaten my kid brother. And when we were yet to hit puberty, saying they will call him to come and give us some blows. Oh, okay, now I get, I get what you're trying to say. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we start misbehaving, and uh, this is from Samuel Kakraba, who says, best uh, post, uh, best interview ever uh, from the champ after he knocked out uh, Pat Cowdell. The interviewer asked Azuma, how did you see the punch? And uh, how did you knock out uh, Pat? Then Azuma said, I'm, I'm too bad, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Phrase of the century. And he says, love you, champ. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, you, you were asked, how did you do it? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm too bad, baby. I'm too bad, baby. <laughs> Felix Ayer says, one question to the main boss, Azuma Nelson, the professor. Does he suffer any trauma from the blows he received from Salvador Sanchez and other boxes? Just briefly, we have to respond to this. Yeah. He's asking if you suffer any trauma from 
the blows you have received in your entire career. Often we hear stories about how boxers, you know, later on in, in their life after their careers, they suffer all sorts of things. That's what, you know, you know that's why you, you have to learn how to box well. Wow. You need a good coach, you know, like I took a crotty, my coach, you know, and if you, if you have that coach, you never suffer. You never ever. suffer after. after. Let's do uh, Abu Samuel, who says, it is unfortunate we're not born by then, but I'm pleading with Metro TV to show uh, us some of Professor's uh, bouts, and we've been doing that in the course of the program. Kofi says, uh, Kofi is sending this from Techima. He says, he's a great man. I remember when I was six years old, when I would wake up to see my family, I wake up just to watch uh, his bouts. We love you, Mr. Azuma Nelson. Uh, this is from Amufa, who says, uh, I wasn't born then, but I have had the opportunity to watch some of his uh, clips, and believe you me, he was indeed on top of his game. A great legend to have in our midst. I salute you, Professor Zoom Zoom. Alfred Apia says, we weren't born old, but I'm concerned about his health, his gestures, and the tone of his speech. Uh, the ever-legendary Nelson, always proud of you. Those days, uh, this is from Paul Komla, uh, who says, those days when uh, students would troop to fill our hall uh, at dawn at St. Peter's in Kweu, I grew up to know uh, he was uh, the man they came to watch, Azuma Nelson, uh, one of the greatest uh, we have seen in the history of uh, world boxing, the greatest to come from Ghana and Africa. That's what we've been talking about uh, on, on this edition of Sportfire. We'll do a quick break. When we return, we will uh, allow you to join the conversation by phone. Yaosechi, who is his publicist, uh, is around. He'll speak to us about how well the book is doing and uh, the, the intended uh, projects, the uh, proceeds from the book will take care of you. Uh, we'll be speaking to us on these things. And Azuma will finally tell us why we don't, uh, we, we don't have boxers like him coming through the ranks again and uh, if anything at all can be done uh, to improve the state of the sports in this country. We're back after this break. Every morning, the news media provide a lead, but we go beyond the headline. We set the agenda and get Ghana thinking. That because you are in power, you are able to give contract to someone. We are all in a quest for the prosperity of our country. Extensive in-depth analysis of the issues that make the news. With some of the most astute minds. We will sit down and analyze the reasons. And interrogate the reasons. Whatever public positions we take, people ought to see principle. Room for divergent views? Yes. If we never had this case in court, I believe that government would have been able to do more than we are doing today. But we underline the facts. You can't explain how district authorities are so irresponsive. Okay. It is better it delays and bring a ripe one mm. than it comes first with a raw one. It's Good Morning Ghana every weekday morning at 7 a.m. only on Metro TV. Let your voice be heard on Metro TV News. Call our hotline on 266 to break the news around you. Send exclusive pictures or videos on issues where you live via WhatsApp number 055 Follow our handle on Twitter at Metro News GH. Drop your comments on our Facebook wall on www.facebook.com forward slash Metro News 1. And for more news updates, visit us on www.mymetrotv.tv. Metro TV News, redefining the news. It's always better to see the proverbial glass as half full rather than half empty. Three, four. Because you know the way you view that glass will completely affect your view of our world today. Hey, I'm bragging today. I'm an Ashanti man. No, 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 no. I should. But you know what? <laughs> 
The question is, what can we as mothers do to build men of character? Popularly referred to as chairman. You, don't, you haven't wedged my wife. No, but you know what? No. <laughs> no. You can choose to take a different view, no matter what life throws your way. For them, it's just about how you look, the figure they want. If you leave it in the hands of government, and government is unable to do it, don't forget you and I will live with the consequences. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. It's a different view. Because boys are sensitive too. People take a different view of you depending on how you present yourself. So one of them looks more natural. Seriously, don't overdo it. A Different View with Gina West. Coming soon to Metro TV. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fantasy Springs Casino here in Indio, California, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, so welcome back from the break. Tonight, I am permitted to do a lot of things. Very soon, we'll hear an interesting story from Azuma Nelson, ahead of his uh, bout, uh, his first bout with Jeff Fennick. Uh, before then, uh, Apia Hini sent a message. He says, uh, Azuma Nelson is the greatest boxer we have ever witnessed in Africa's history. Well done, the professor. Uh, this one says, I used to watch him and when I was four. Uh, since then, I have never uh, gotten the interest of uh, watching any boxer today. He's a true legend. Uh, well done. Zoom, zoom. We salute you. But we'll not forget the Asembi Riba song. Okay, I'll surprise you with that before we go. Okay. Uh, as to Kosi Anhyable, who is the head of content at uh, OMP, sends us a message. He says, why are young Ghanaian boxers sent abroad to be used to enrich uh, fight records of other boxers? And we're allowing it. Zoom. Why are we allowing that to happen? That's a long story. You know, long story. Uh, our, our coaches, mm -hmm. you know, uh, most of them, seriously, you know, I know when they are hearing it, they will be annoyed. But you know, <laughs> you know, they cannot. You know, I'm telling the truth. I know they cannot. They can't take the truth, but I have to tell the truth. You know, uh, 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 they, they, they are not. Most of them are not working. You know, and they, they take these boys. You know, and these boys don't even reach where they're supposed to go and fight. But when they fight, they get some money, some small money in their pocket. The coaches. So that's why they push them. So they push them. Okay, so the coaches are the problem. <coughs> the, uh, Frank sends a message, Frank in Japan. He says, who was your toughest opponent throughout your career? Oh, every fight is tough. But uh, some, some, some fights that uh, uh, you know that this, this fight, you go home and... And, and you go to the your body hurts a bit you more. Go to your bedroom <laughs> and then even sometimes you know sh putting sh water on, on your body was you not easy. Pain. So who, know, who, who, which which like, opponent gave uh, you <laughs> that fight? Uh, I, I always say that he's a Mexican. Okay, Asabacha Martinez. Mm -hmm. You know, Asabacha Martinez is a tough guy. Very tough fighter. You know, and when somebody is tough, which means you know the art, you know. All the people that I've been fighting and uh, I've been winning, uh, they are not, they, are, they don't know the art that much, okay. like, like at Sebastian Martinez, you know. So uh, when you meet people like, this, that, like that and you are fighting them, you have to think fast. So you Martinez, are, you would say, uh, your, your, most, this guy your can, most difficult opponent. This guy can, can hit, you know. <laughs> I, sometimes it's throat punch. When I block it, I feel like it you hit me with the iron, with iron, you know. Uh, so... I, it make you think fat. He's a good guy. Right? Okay, we'll get into the story before uh, your first bout with Jeff Fennick. Uh, but as I told you earlier, I'm allowed to do a lot of things tonight. Uh, pardon me. Uh, this is not done, but I have to do it. I have some messages uh, coming on my mobile. I, I can't help but share them. Uh, your brother, mm. Kennedy Japon, Kempong, Kempo, the yeah. couple. Yeah, he Kempo. says I should say hello to you. Yeah. He sends a message. <laughs> hey, my man. <laughs> Okay, um, I have some more messages. This is from Francis, uh, who says, uh, that guy sitting there is the greatest icon I have known in Africa. This is coming from 
uh, Francis uh, Bernard Mona uh, of the uh, is it CNP? PNC. He says, indeed, Azuma was an enigma. He kept me proud as a Ghanaian. I continue to admire him even in his retirement. Okay, so more messages coming from you. Now, I heard of your bout with Jeff Fennick. You said something happened. Many thought you were going in for the money. Yes, after the, after the first fight. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we fought in Las Vegas, okay. the first fight. And I, I, the fight was very tough. He almost knocked me out in the 12th round. Okay. Yes, and so he think uh, he won. And I, I, I said, we've, it's 12 rounds of boxing, not one round. Not one round. You know, so if you won one round, it doesn't mean you won. You won the bout. You know, mm -hmm. and he's shouting and he's doing all kind of noise okay. that uh, uh, they stole him and we, I stole him. Uh, the, the referee stole the, the, the fight. You know, he's supposed to win. I said, no, okay, don't, don't shout too much. I'll give you a rematch if you want to. If you want the rematch, I'll give you a rematch. You know, I want to prove, and I want you to prove. You see, you beat me. Okay, prove to me. I'll give you a rematch. Prove to me that you beat me. You know, and then uh, I asked him, where he, did he want the fight to be? And he said, uh, Australia. Australia, his home his country. His home country. He said, okay, no city. problem. I said, no problem. I'll so, come. Your father can be referee, your mother can be judge, your brothers and sisters can be uh, 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 supporters. I'll knock you out. You told him that? Of course. <laughs> you know. So, uh, and, and Ghanaians are afraid. Everybody, even including my, my best friends, telling, telling people that, no, I'm going to lose the fight. I'm going, for the f I'm going because of the money. You know, and I, 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 and I, I, I believe uh, uh, the former president, Jerry John Rollins, had it. So that's, uh, those are the pictures of that fight. Uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, In he, Sydney. He, yeah, he had it, and he called me. He called me. To so the, your mother can be the, the judge. Yes. Your father can be the ring Referee. official. Yes. And your, and your brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters can, can be the supporters. supporters. I'll knock you out. And you can even do the fight in his uh, bathroom, no yeah. problem. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't you problem knock him out. I'll knock you out, <laughs> you know. And, and uh, so when uh, the former president had that, everybody says... Uh, president Rollins. Uh, yes, everybody says he's going to knock him out. And so he called me to the castle, and he said, this is what people are saying. I said, oh, woman, you know me. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, sell my country. For, 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 I'm not going to disgrace my country. I'm going in there to knock him out. And he, all that he said, that, all that he said, if you say that, if you said that, I believe you. I believe you. you and know? that was it. And I went, you know. And the night for the fight, when I was going into the ring, you know, PVO Ben and all of them, I called them. I said, okay, it's, get, it's, it's time for the fight. I'm going to the ring. They should sit on the table. On the telly. Yeah. And wait and, and watch and, it. And watch it, you know. <laughs> and I went there and then I proved to them that they said, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going because of money. You know, my word is my bond. Your word is your bond. Yeah. As and my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. so the phone line uh, should be on your screen. Uh, we can take maybe two or three phone calls. Tell us your greatest memory of Azuma Nelson. Yasechi has joined us uh, in the studio. Uh, so we'll bring Yao in. Yao, how does it feel working with the greatest sportsman Africa has produced? A WBC Boxing Hall of Famer. Yao, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I know no, you. Yao yeah, yeah, is my son. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, know, I know you. Yao. I have a personal relationship with this guy. So okay. Don't misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> we are serious here. Bro, <laughs> that's what this man did. <laughs> no, it's a yeah, privilege. How does it feel? No, it's a privilege for me. When, when, when your phone rings, you check and it's Azuma and Nelson. Yeah, this relationship dates back 2010. Wow. When, yeah, and, and guess who connected me with Azuma, even though I know him as my father, uh, was a reverend. A reverend minister who called me. A reverend me minister? Yes, <clears throat> a common friend. You know, And this reverend minister had approached me in 2005, a choice of him. Way back at choice. Mm -hmm. uh, one, one time I was in the office when I, I had a call from the reception. 
that there's a white man looking for me. Are we here to talk about me or talk about Zoom? Oh, no, not, not you, but <laughs> okay. at least you should tell me how. <laughs> okay. You know, so I said, okay, white because man looking for me. Because for you in sports, oh, I'm beg, not too beg, sure. Beg. No, you know I'm a basketball person. Yes, basketball, you know, but boxing. Yeah, this is, know this how. is how I, this is the, the it's a voluntary work that okay. I do for, for the champ. And it's a privilege, like you said. Travel with So it is a privilege. Everywhere, you know, I want to, primarily. Well, I want you to understand you know, and know how God works. Okay. You know, what you don't expect. Is what happens from God. From you, God. you are very spiritual. Very. Zoom, zoom. Very. Very, very spiritual. Very. It looks like you may, you may preach very soon. No, he, he, he's <laughs> allowing him to preach with scripture. Even, right even sent a message. He says, and his greetings to the champ. He's a huge legend. Ask Moses Farmwinin of his experience with champ <laughs> at JFK. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you want I, to recount that? Yeah. Say, how well is the book doing? We oh, have amazing. the book. How well is amazing. the book doing? Uh, this book was launched in, in Australia in okay. September. Okay. Uh, I should say that we should have launched the book first in Ghana, uh, but we lost our board chairperson, the person of PV or Bing. And so Cham directed that we put the Ghana launch on hold. Okay. Uh, but per our schedule, was supposed to be in Australia uh, the first and second week of September. So we proceeded with that. And I should say it was quite successful. I mean, we, we have been amazed at the, by response. The, res the response here in Ghana. I mean, you watched the videos and like he stated, there were people that even though we invited, we were not sure they would they show, show up. up. So let me use this opportunity to thank all the, the personalities who showed up, even those who couldn't come. Uh, by the way, we'll be knocking at their doors very soon. We'll come into the office because we came to them so we know where to find them. Yeah. Uh, we're extremely, extremely gr gratified mm. and, and, and appreciative of okay. their response. But there's and a project beyond this. Oh, yes. Book. Yeah, you know, briefly, can we share know, that we have Before, few before the, the professor it. retired in 1998, it was very clear. Be before mind. you come, let me just take Tony from Kumasi. He's fortunate to get on the phone yes, and yes. onto this program. Tony, thank you for joining us. You are fortunate, eh? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sir. Yes, Tony, quickly. Ready. Let's do it briefly. Yeah, great thing to professor. Okay. Thank you. I want to ask, uh, is he going to maybe record his old fight on series, maybe, for those of us who couldn't have opportunities to watch? Okay. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Yeah. That's Are a project we we're working yeah. on. That's a project we're working on. I should say that we already have a, a DVD called the Zoom Zoom. The professor, the zoom zoom, uh, which, the which also it's more like a documentary. It's is it not commercial? Like a is it out there oh, for yeah, us it's, to it's get? Out there. It's okay. out there. It's out there. It's out there, and then uh, very soon you can get them at uh, Zenit Bank. This okay. book, as I speak with you, uh, can uh, can be purchased from all Zenit Bank branches okay. across the all country. Uh, I should say that this is a private project of the professor, but part of the proceeds will go to support the Azuma Nelson Foundation, okay. which, by the way, it's, it's a non for non, non for profit uh, institution or organization. Mm -hmm which he established in 2004. He was very clear in his mind before he retired he in 1998 to, do to support, to give back to society. Just hold it there. Let me do Razak, my final caller. Hi, Razak. Yeah. Razak, you're on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling from Ashama. Go ahead, Ashama. Razak, quickly. Yeah, let's call to greet. Say hi to uh, Professor Azuma Nelson. Mm. And then you yourself, too. I really, I really like Professor Azuma Nelson. He's my mentor. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one I was a kid. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Uh, yes. Thank you. I want to yeah. find out again. I want to find again. Mm. When are you starting the Premier League? When, when is he the starting Ghana what? The okay. Ghana. The Ghana League. The Ghana League. When are you starting? Okay. I, I'm unable to tell you that. We're talking Professor Azuma Nelson tonight, so I'm very sorry. Yeah. Just briefly, we I, need to be I, going. I just, I just, I mean, you know, when it comes to Azuma Nelson story, mm. it, we, we, we need like. Two hours. Or yeah, even two hours, hours may not be enough. Okay. Uh, just I mean, but what I, I can say. Papo has just sent, oh, said, okay. Splendid stuff out there. Greatest out of Africa. I tell you, Papo. What I can sure. say is that I encourage people to visit the website yeah. Azuma Nelson Foundation .org .gh. Azuma Nelson Foundation .org .org .gh. Find out what this man is doing. I mean, a legend that we celebrate here tonight. Find, see videos of him mm. mixing mortar, carrying concrete just to support the deprived in society. As wow. I speak with you, we already, we're almost completing a project at Enuma Papem. Lord have mercy. You should go and see how we've been able to attract, you know, some folks from the uh, United States called the Building Bridges Worldwide. It's also a non-for-profit. And they, they are came. supporting. Amazing job. Go to Akuse where he has 50 acre plot. 50 acres I'm talking about. He said he wants to use this to support 
that deprived in society. And that is the project that we're encouraging Ghanaians to come on board. Azuma Nelson, first phase, or the man in the ring. The second okay. phase is the man out there who is using his time, energy, resources to, to support the society again. in society. Says, God blesses you so you can serve society. Let's do mm. Pablo. Pablo, are you on? Pablo, are you on? Yes, please. Yes, let's hear you. Yeah, yeah I think Azuma Nelson, Professor Azuma Nelson is a great man. And I always adore him because I've acquired so much from him. That is, he really know who he is. And as a human being, when you know who you, when you know who you are, yeah. all the time when you go for it, you win. My family and you always says, says, know God thyself. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for your call. Uh, I, I was I was saying that, uh, like one of my mentors, Kwame Alani always says, know thyself. When you know the when you know yourself, uh, you know what your capabilities are. You can uh, live the life you want to live. This is from uh, Rex Dankwa, who sends a message. He says. It's been such a long time since we saw each other, uh, since he saw you, uh, mm. or you guys met each other. Uh, but have always been fascinated by Azuma's humility above all else. I syndicated a number of his fights for GTV, sourcing for sponsors. Our friendship dates back to his early days when I was the editor of the Sports Coin then. Worked for his endorsement as Toyota Sports Personality and, collabor and collaborated severally. Greetings uh, to... Okay, uh, greetings and wish the champ every success is coming from Rex Dankwa. And he says, you. he always gave up some economic rights to get the fight virtually free for Ghanaians. He mentioned that earlier. Mm -hmm. And we have another caller on the phone, Maxwell. Maxwell, you are from Kutuba. Yeah. yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, um, I just want to know why um, name that he was mentioned in front of a Mexican um, boxer by name, is it? Mario Asamache Martinez. Mario Asabache Martinez. Mario Asabache Martinez. Oh, okay. Mario Asabache Martinez. Martinez, yes. Uh, well, it's not a Samwajan. It's not, it's not a Samwajan. <laughs> no, no, I thought it said Asabache Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your call. Right? Okay. I have a message from a brother, uh, Kwabna Bidiako. Uh, entry, uh, DAK, who sends a message. He says, uh, bro, I want to tell the professor that I'm proud of him, and my late father was a great fan of him. Uh, IBK uh, sends this message. Yeah, we've got to go, uh, but in 30 seconds. Azuma says, within four years, yes. something bigger, which will satisfy him even more than the career he has had. He speaks of two projects. You know he's been appointed the Ghana boxing ambassador okay. which will be running the whole secretariat okay and his responsibility includes reviving the sports reviving the given sport. the sport and how, how are we going value. to do that we today we are unable to produce another azuma nelson why give, give me give me two three years two three years and 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 see how Ghanaians will love boxing again how are you going to do it with the with the experience that i that 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 i have you know, and 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 and, and know how. You know, and uh, the act of boxing that I'm going to put into them. You know, I'm telling you, 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 you whatever you love, you forget. And and and. Then can they, we can we produce another Azuma Nelson in Ghana or anywhere in Africa? Soon, just for for uh, just give me two three years. You know, I don't want to talk too much about. How uh, uh, can we can we can we produce or can, can we can produce? You know, you see, the 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 the, the government said, listen, uh, Azuma Nelson, listen, we're making you the ambassador of boxing in Ghana, and I will prove them right that I mean it's because uh, they don't know the boxing, they are strong and they fight. And then when, when, when they meet people who are uh, experienced than them, then That's they it. couldn't, you know. But I'll make sure, you know, but, 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 uh, you know I'll, when I put the act in them and they are fighting, you see the difference between 
uh, uh, power box, power and boxing. Boxing is not about power. Mm. It's about intelligence, it's about how... It's how, about the head. But I'm telling you, my boy, my son is a boxer now. Your son? And give me... 18 years. Hmm? Give, give, me, year. give, me, give me two years, uh, give me one year, you see him fighting. Very soon. Uh, very soon you and he should fun. replace you. Oh, brother, I'm telling you. How, how, how do you want to be remembered, uh, Azuma Nelson? How would you want Ghana to remember you, briefly? No, I mean, uh, I want Ghana to know, to remember me that, you see, uh, they, they, they always, not remember, just to, rem to always remember that if Azuma Nelson is here, you know, this, this will happen. Wow. Somebody who gets the results. Yes. That if Azuma is here, it it's all right. It's just, you know. Prof, thank you very much. Oh, you are done. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, you done. Oh, thank the you books, very much. The books are Senate Bank branches. How, how much is how much? Is just a hundred Ghana cities. Just a hundred. That would be great for okay, you. I'll, I'll and buy. And I'll buy this for five hundred Ghana tonight. Oh thank my you. goodness. Yeah, I'll buy this oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's what we're talking about. Let me say that we already have the Europe launch, the American launch already. Uh, uh, in the process, and but this story must be told across Africa. Okay. So Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya. You're going everywhere. We we are just on the road. And it is and it, and, and and it is about the greatest boxer, the greatest. The story must be told to come from Africa. You know, and I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm happy, and I want I want you Ghana, you Africa, to join me to to build this uh, complex. The complex. You know, and on that 50 uh, acre land in Akuse. Uh, yes. You know. And, and uh, they'll be proud, you know. They'll be proud. They'll be happy, you know. Two or four, 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 five years, they'll be proud. They'll be happy that they are, they are, they are they one contributed. Of they are to one of course. the yes. Azuma Nelson, the legend, my guest on Sports Far tonight, three-time, a uh, former three-time world champion. Uh, he's the only one we remember held on to uh, world titles for ten consecutive years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to yeah, be to be easy. even mm. to hold it for it, three years. For even three years, but mm. he did it for ten years. So that's how we end uh, sports file tonight. We hope you have enjoyed it thoroughly because I have been thrilled. Uh, there's a repeat of this show at two p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you watch it. Well, now my name is Alex Quentin. Thanks to everybody for making this possible. To Yasechi especially for uh, the role he's played. Wow. Well,